Alright, the final game is a game that... called Spoon River. So everybody in Spoon River, come on up. <laughs> come on up. And uh, stand with your backs facing the audience. And we're going to need some type of event that brings the community together. Any other? No? No? Raise your hand. A school shooting stand. Sit in. A barbecue. So we're going to go a barbecue. It's something that brings the community together. And these three are going to act out a scene with plot and characters on the count of three. Ready? Count down with me. Three, three two, one, one, go! I feel sorry for those horses I had to cook up for this barbecue. I really hope no one notices. That was the best meat I've ever had. I gotta find some more somehow. So I made a suggestion to the cook that, um, he no longer cook horse meat, and he uh, told me he was gonna switch to sheep. So I don't know how I quite feel about that. Sheep are so hard to come by. I really don't know where I'm gonna find any. Anyone have any dogs? <laughs> so they told me it was sheep. <laughs> so I found me a farm. <laughs> Chicken and, and beef and, and fish and now it's horse and sheep and dog. 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 <laughs> Nothing's quite been the same since the swine flu. <laughs> I've, had, I've had to switch to so many animals. I, don't, I can't even keep track of all of them. I've had dogs, cats, kangaroos. I really don't know where I'm gonna keep finding this meat. Me. And I'm gonna go to jail now. But they were good while the blast. So I got this new job the other day. And guess what? Guess what? I'm selling horse and sheep and dog, guys. Hit me up at six, seven, eight. Eat your horse now. That's what you got. Guess who's new? The new prison cook! I've set Elizabeth up for life! <laughs> and scene.